Hello, my name is Zena Ali Ahmed. I am the resident representative for the United Nations Development Program in Iraq, where I have been working to support the, our programming in the country over the last three years. I am here at USIP today with a group of our uh, experts and, and our friends at USIP to look at innovative solutions on how to address the humanitarian development and peace nexus including solutions to look at climate change challenges that we are witnessing in the world and in Iraq these days. Iraq is one of the most fragile countries in the world according to the indicators of the OECD Fragility Framework. And on those indicators, actually, environmental sustainability is one of the worst. If you live in Iraq, for a normal person living in Iraq, climate change now is a reality. If you go to the south of Iraq, for example, in Basra, the marshes are drying out. If you look at the what we call Shat al-Arab, which is where the Tigris and the Furat actually meet, the two big rivers of Iraq, it has been drying out. Some areas like the Yala, it has been drying out the small rivers also. And this is because of climate change. It's because of drought. It's because of uh, transboundary lesser flows of uh, water into the country. And it is because of the high temperature that we have been witnessing over the last two or three years. Iraq has been an unstable country, I have to say, over the last 20 years and even beyond that, before that. We have seen a lot of conflicts that are made man-made conflicts and now we're seeing much more conflicts over resources. We are also witnessing some climate change-induced displacements, especially in the southern part of Iraq. Actually, it will threaten whatever fragile peace we, are, uh, we have all been working, also as an international community and United Nations agencies in the country to support the stability of this country. What we are seeing is that nomadic uh, livelihoods uh, opportunities are really eroding. People have to move. People on the move, as we've seen when we had the ISIL conflict uh, seven, eight years ago, when there was occupied uh, territories by, by ISIL, is that displacement breeds conflict, and conflict over resources is one also of the issues that Iraq will face over the coming period. We have been trying, us and our partners and donors and development partners and other UN agencies to work on different solutions. We are now working on three main pathways. One is to help the country to look at energy transformation. So really looking at, it's a very oil depending country. So looking actually at how we can transform into solar and renewable energy. The second is looking at water and water in sense of water governance internally. So looking at the pipes, the irrigation canals, the usage of water, but also helping Iraq to negotiate its transboundary water agreements. And third is what we call nat nature-based solutions. So in the marshlands, for example, to help the, the population within these areas that are at risk of climate-induced displacements, to work on sustainable nature-based solutions for their areas.